Apple has introduced ProRaw, a special way of saving maximum of photos data with no compression. I've played with it and I'm ready to tell you everything about Apple's ProRaw. And to make it more fun, please welcome iPhone 12 Pro Max with a completely new camera with a bigger sensor and the ability to shoot Pro Raw photos. iPhone 11 Pro, last year's camera champion that can shoot Raw photos with the help of a third-party app. And last but not least, Nokia Lumia 1020, a phone from 2013 with a huge, enormous 41 megapixel sensor that can also shoot Raw. Hey guys, it's Alex here and welcome to the Geeks Table. For those of you who have no idea what RAW is, don't worry, here's an example. Let's say that you wish to have a steak. You go to a restaurant or call a delivery these days and they usually bring you the steak that you love and you're happy. But sometimes they screw up and they bring you a meatball. And a meatball is a prepared dish, so there is no chance that you can turn a meatball into a steak. On the other hand, you have a piece of raw meat in your fridge you also have some cooking skills and some free time, so you may turn that raw meat into a steak that you love, or into a meatball, or into a schnitzel, anything, and you are free to decide. So imagine that your photos, the JPEGs, are a meatball that you wish to turn into a steak. Your camera sensor captures the light, compresses it, and gives you the final result. It may look nice, but once you try to turn it into something different, then it will be like frying a meatball on a grill. The raw file shares the same name with the raw meat because it's just the raw light data from the sensor that is written to the file directly, so no compression or data loss. On the other hand, no computational photography as well, so no deep fusion or night mode. Well, big cameras don't have those anyways, but more data leads to higher dynamic range, so having a raw data shot made on a big camera makes it easier to do some HDR adjustments. But if we switch to a phone sensor, we'll see that we don't have much flexibility. Once we try to highlight the dark places, we'll see some noise. And once we try to darken the highlights, we won't be able to save much. So even though the raw photo has more data than the JPEG one, JPEG from a smartphone may look much better because of the algorithms. But wait a minute, iPhone captures lots of photos per moment with all possible settings. Can we just have that data in one shot, please? And Apple says, sure, it's called ProRaw. You just turn it on in the settings and be sure that it preserves the setting after you relaunch the camera. And then you'll see that handy switch that shows you that you're shooting raw. You won't see any differences between the photos and the photos app. Unless you open it full size, you'll see then this small text in the top left corner. But when you share the files, you'll see that they are much bigger and also have this DNG format, which means digital negative. The Pro Raw shot may look far from an ideal photo, but once you start editing it, you'll realize how much power you gain. You may turn a pretty flat HDR image into a nice picture where the shadows and the sunset create a perfect mood, or vice versa, turn a contrast picture with no visible elements into a great detailed shot. And when I compared the RAW shots with the iPhone 11 Pro and Lumia 1020, I was like, wait, where are all the noises in the Pro RAW photo? Are they really gone? That cannot be. Well, if the scenarios become more complicated, like here, we have a candle on the right and a colored lamp on the left, then you may struggle a little bit. But anyways, it's pretty much a lot that you can do just with the sensor data. And ProRaw may save mostly any shot with a contour light. It feels like magic when we are able to save all the details that were originally washed out. The computational photography algorithms are also here. All the ProRaw photos look sharper than the RAW photos, thanks to the deep fusion. The night mode does an amazing job as well. The shot looks bright and clear, and again, it's crazy how clear it is. And we may play around with it, recoloring some parts of the picture, but keeping the quality of an image. So, if we have such an amazing camera that does mind-blowing JPEG shots, why do we need Pro Raw? I would say we need it in four cases. First, if we are afraid to accidentally screw up the camera settings and you need that backup plan to fix everything. Second, if you don't have time on the settings at all or you're shooting on a run or you just like that point-and-shoot pattern 
and then you realize that the shot is not as you originally saw it. Third, if you need the maximum of data with no compression. And finally, fourth, if you like spending hours in editing the photos. Oh, and final advice. Keep in mind that ProRaw photos can be up to 25 megabytes each, according to Apple, compared to around five megabytes of a JPEG. So maybe you'll need a bigger storage for that. For those of you who wish to compare the raw files, I'll post a link with my shots below this video. Hit a like if this video was useful for you and consider subscribing. It's been Alex and see you at the Geeks table. Bye-bye.